What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Watch It In Action. I'm Bows Phoenix and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ack Magnus. The Ack Magnus is essentially the dual version of the Magnus weapon and it's a Tenno designed weapon that's basically an 8 shot revolver. I love the look and feel of this weapon, it's super fun to use. And with the build that we've got here on the website, you're going to be able to take advantage of the best of both worlds in terms of status and crit for this weapon. Because when I built this, uh, the way I put it together was it kind of it kind of accentuated a little bit of both. So pretty high status chance, pretty good crit, and pretty good crit damage. The other thing that's really cool about this weapon is it's got pretty evenly spread out physical stats as well, with impact being the highest. And we'll see that in a second when we take a look at the build. But if you're looking for a secondary to max out, you really can't go wrong with this one. It's a very solid, very well-rounded sidearm. So, that being said, let's go ahead and switch over and take a look at the build here real quick. Now, I've got here uh, 5 Forma on this, and, you know, you may be able to do less if you don't want to use Seeker, but that's kind of one that I chose. If you want a little bit more damage and less status, you want to go more for the crit side of things, you can actually put a Forma here on the Seeker, and you don't even have to use Seeker. You can switch this out for Stunning Speed or uh, you know, fast hands or whatever, any of the, any of the reload speed mods. But uh, this weapon, the one downside, it does have a pretty, pretty slow reload time at 3 seconds, and it's semi-automatic, so you're going to be burning through magazines pretty quickly. But going through the build here, I've got Hornet Strike, and you know that's going to give us most of our overall damage. Lethal Torrent's going to give us multi-shot and a little bit more fire rate. Barrel Diffusion is going to give us, again, more multi-shot, so that's pretty awesome with secondaries. You can get a ton of multi-shot with these two, uh, these two uh, mods here. Uh, the next thing, we've got Prime Target Cracker, and if you don't have this, regular Target Cracker will work just fine, but you're going to lose a lot of damage. Also, you can max this out with this build. I just don't have the cores. These these legendary mods are killing me. They're just they're too expensive. But um, And then you're going to use Prime Pistol Gambit as well. That's 170% critical chance, and then even more so when it's completely maxed out at rank 10. I like Seeker because, as you guys know, I love punch-through on my weapons. I mean, I'm a fiend for punch-through, so if I can fit punch-through on a build, I'm probably going to do it. Uh, reload speed be damned. So like I said, you can swap this out for a reload speed mod. Uh, st uh, stunning speed is really good because it actually has status chance as well. So give you a little bit more status and some reload speed. And then we have two 60% elementals. And like I said, if you want to go more for damage and crit side of things and kind of eschew the status, you can uh, put a couple more form on here and go for just two regular 90% elemental mods. So you guys saw it here in the preview a little bit, but I want to I want to show you how this weapon tests out in the simulacrum real fast. We'll take a quick look at it as we always do, you know, with our little test dummies and everything like that. But uh, like I said, I mean, this weapon's got pretty good, you know, physical stats across the board. I mean, the impact is going to be the highest of it, but, you know, everything else is, is close behind. So we're going to use some Corrupted Crewmen and some Corrupted Butchers. So we're just going to use a couple of each, and uh, I'll show you how this weapon works on both of them. So I'm playing uh, Nyx, and this build here is the Chaos build, and that's on ValsPhoenix.com as well, so you can check that out. But, uh... As with a crit weapon, you guys are going to want to aim for the head. That's going to be the most important thing when getting those those higher higher end criticals. And these guys are already a little softened up, but you can see the the damage that this thing is doing here, and it's it's pretty nice. I mean, a thousand seven hundred and something to two thousand damage a shot is is definitely nothing to sneeze at, especially for a secondary here. Um, the one thing you will notice is that re reload time is is pretty lengthy, and that's kind of one of the things that I really don't like about the weapon, but. I mean, other than that, it's super accurate, it's super fun to use, it it sounds awesome. It sounds pretty awesome, it, it looks cool, I mean, it's it's a super solid secondary. And I feel like it's really, really underrated with the, uh, you know, a lot of people like the Vacor Merlock and stuff like that, and there's a lot of other really good secondaries out there that are pistol-type weapons, but... Man, I don't think you can go wrong with this weapon if you put the work into it, and with so many different ways to build it, and how it fits into a bunch of different situations. I mean, this is a good, if you're looking for your first secondary to start putting Forma on, really can't go wrong with this one. But, again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, I'm going to be trying to put up these different, you know, secondary, primary, melee, you know, every other day, stuff like that. Along with some, maybe some other cool videos, too. I'm actually thinking about doing a, a top five, you know, primary weapons video, stuff like that. So... If you guys like the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers, and I know that we can do it here soon. Also, don't forget to visit BowsPhoenix.com. That information is going to be in the annotation and uh, in the description. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you again next time.